Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here is episode 2 of our tips on how to farm and get perfect LMs if you're free to play. <laughs> so if you watched my previous video, I demonstrated what I would do if I was in the harem beacon. Okay. So this time it's almost 9 p.m. in our country. So that means it's time for the um, numerous beacon. Okay, so we're gonna head down there because there's less than 30 seconds before it responds. Responds. Okay. So let's head over there. Okay. So for those who just got into this video, I was explaining how I was able to get these perfect LMs, right? 25 attack rings, T3 fluffs, without spending anything, right? Because I was saying earlier, usually you would need uh, um, real money to get these things. And in my case, I didn't spend anything okay so i just played and bought the things here through Disena, the in-game currency okay so like i was saying earlier you need to attend the events and one of these is the ancient arctic back in numerous okay so we arrived here on time and there's not many people here, so that's good. Okay. Okay, so there's my attack now. I have a plus six intense black lance. Level two heroes roar. And there, twin one hundred two percent attack elements. Pretty strong. Okay, so let's just bring this down okay so let's hope more cora will come but not too many okay <laughs> so we won't have uh, many people looting anyway the important thing here is once the artifact or the beacon goes down you need to spread out like what i did in my previous video you need to spread out and prioritize looting the gift boxes, okay? So once um, the loots are here, you press Alt, and then you will see... You actually don't need to press Alt if you're gonna see the gift boxes, but that's your priority, okay? Because if you get those gift boxes, um, you'd probably get ores or talics, and that's what we want, okay? Because those can be sold at a decent amount of uh, price. Okay, second of all, if there's no more um, gift boxes near you, because people are going to be looting, you're going to need to target getting um, these things. Outcast land portals, town portals, they also drop them here. And Cartella, okay, they also uh, can be sold for a good amount. And third, you need to loot these. Bust Potion Quest, okay? So, those three are the most important things you have to loot. And anyway, the ancient artifact or beacon in numerous or 117 if you're Akrisha and if you're Bellato it's gonna be in Anakade settlement okay it responds every three hours so that's 9 a.m. or p.m. 12 3 and 6 a.m. so if you're not really doing anything and you're just staying at home like me <laughs> Okay, you just go to these places and destroy this thing and loot. <laughs> okay, so the artifact is around maybe 20%, so we're almost finished here. 
Let's buff up. Okay, so it's important that you DPS. <laughs> you damage. Okay, don't just sit there and wait for the loot. Because the sooner you bring this down, the better. Okay. So as soon as... It's almost down. Okay, there. Get back. And check your radar here. Make sure no one is near you. So you won't be competing for loot. And oh, use this. Your sprint. Or uh, acceleration if you're a warrior from another race. Okay, ready. There. Go for the gift boxes first. These are the most important. If there's no more, okay, there. Convert runes, or any kinds of runes are also good. Now go for the burst, bust, um, escape rune. Okay, armor extender. Event armor extender is also good if there's nothing else. And convert rune, okay. The thing you need to avoid is... Um, Let's see, these um, blueprints for other races' wings. But if you are planning to make your own wings, you can loot these prototype wings. Since I'm not making, I'm not gonna loot. Alright, and I guess that's it. We're finished with this event. Let's go back to HQ and we'll see what we got. Alright, so that's 10 of these small gift boxes and 3 of the regular size. So let's see, let's just open this. We got ores, candies, and cake, okay. And let's try to open these, okay. Candies, okay. Oh, there. See, you got high gems. These are not very expensive, but they're still good. The candy pots are also good. They have no cooldown and they offer attack. So I usually use these when I go PvP. See? High gems. T3. Okay, so we only got one of these. So your main target is to get probably a Keen or a Favor Talic or Chaos because those are the most expensive Talic. So let's just process this. Okay, that's too bad. We didn't get anything valuable. Okay, but these things, Dreaming Hallowstone Peace is maybe 15, 13 million per set. So that's also good if you're trying to raise Disena or in-game currency to buy yourself um, LMs. Okay, so let's go check out my storage. See, there's 85 million. So a few hours ago, I had 80 million, I think. <laughs> okay, so that's not much progress, but just by joining events you're gonna get gems talics or other things that you can sell right and with um just a good amount of grinding for your equips you're gonna get the elements that you want or the equips that you need okay so anyway this method requires that you're online most of the time okay so it's good if you're working from home okay but if you are like very busy working outside maybe it would be better if you just like bought the elements <laughs> with real money but in my case this works well because i actually bought all of these just by repeating the same thing okay <laughs> 
looting, going to events, and if you have if you can join pillar events at set, that would be good. And earlier today we joined the Chudi event in Ether. So that's also good. Okay. So anyway, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down if you have any questions. Okay. And that's it. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time in another RF Online video. Goodbye.